everyone welcome back to my channel many of you who watch my channel are graduate students who are pursuing your BA in English or in other subjects so it came to my mind that after you complete your graduation or whether you are at the cusp of your final year or if you are wondering what to do after you finish your graduation then where would you go whom would you ask so look no further this video is all about that let me tell you right at the beginning what we can expect from this video i will tell you six things which you can do after you finish your graduation in english but this is applicable to more or less all the humanity subjects in general and since you have watched up until this point why don't you press the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so that you can get an update from me whenever i upload a video so let us begin i will keep the obvious bit about continuing your studies or pursuing higher education for the very end so those of you who want to pursue higher education you have to watch till the very end and let me start with an offbeat career option which is advertising those of you who have watched friends especially this clip let's start with the a's advertising wait advertising that's a great idea well don't you want to look through the rest <laughs> i don't think i have to hear the rest advertising makes perfect sense they know advertising is a very fun industry to be at you have seen many innovative ads in the years you have spent on social media and you have seen some problematic ones too how do you think these ads come into being it's people like you and me who contribute to it so the industry of advertising is a booming industry there are many possibilities in that mostly the possibility which a student of english literature can generally avail is that of a script writer but in addition they can also do all other sorts of works like an executive producer the cinematographer the director anything for an advertisement or the public relations manager how would you know when advertising jobs would come up and how would you start this journey well i am not an expert in this domain but i am giving you the heads up that advertising as an option exists and it's a very fun industry to work at you can start by learning about advertising from the free courses available on websites like coursera and other websites or you can ask friends who have already done something in the advertising industry or are in some way or the other associated with it so if you go into this industry then you must be prepared for a little bit of struggle you might not get a very good job which will sustain you right at the onset but i believe that is true for more or less every industry and advertising is no exception next i will talk about one of the most popular jobs which you can get right after your graduation which is that of a journalist if you are planning to step into journalism then i suggest you start your internships with the popular newspapers especially times of india statesman telegraph or if you want to do it in bangla then anandabazar patrika bortoman eishomoy and the like in these papers you must try to get an internship just apply to them straight away and in general they also hire interns from time to time so try and get in these internship programs i'm sure you know someone or the other who is worked in one or the other of these newspapers so get in touch with them ask them how did they get this job how did they manage to write so many articles for that paper what is the process for every job the first and the foremost step that you must take is to ask people who have already been there and done that for journalism one thing is absolutely mandatory that is your english or your bangla whichever language you are writing it has to be absolutely flawless and not only flawless it has to be lucid and good to read journalism is a very good job opportunity and it would also give you an opportunity to explore the things around you know more about the society which you inhabit and have an impact in the world around you 
of course journalism takes a lot of time you have to start right from your graduation days and it would be preferred if you have a degree in mass comm and journalism especially at the pg level St. Xavier's does a beautiful course on this, so does Jadav University. If you want to enroll in them, please go ahead. These degrees generally help because they give you a lot of contacts which you can use to get these jobs. So if you are looking for journalism as your career option, I suggest you do a degree in journalism as well. That will not only help you academically but also will help you career-wise. Then let us come to the most interesting possibility which you can take right after your graduation in English. This is not a job opportunity so as to speak, but this is a very interesting possibility, which is creative writing and blogging. You can be a creative writer too. Of course, if you are looking to make money out of this, it will take a long time, a very long time. But the process is very fulfilling. It helps you shine as a person. And this is probably the only opportunity which you can take after your graduation where you have an opportunity to become famous in the long run. If fame is what you are looking for, where better can you get it than novels? Therefore, you can start your creative writing journey after your graduation. Though I should give a disclaimer that you should take this possibility seriously only if you have a fail safe, if you have well to do parents or if you come from a well-to-do family where you don't need to earn right away then you can take this option because as I said it will take a lot of time next let me come to one of the most popular things which people do right after finishing their graduation which is they start preparing for jobs West Bengal civil service UPSC banking clerk IBPS and many many other jobs as well government jobs which generally take very regular exams this is a very lengthy process you have to generally enroll in an educational institute like rice or something else where they will teach you certain tactics which will help you crack these exams of course there are many people who want to do these kinds of things with their lives and i would suggest that if you want to do that then you take this seriously and you take this as a full-time job which does not give you money but rather takes money from you but in addition to thinking of it as a job you must also think of it as an investment an investment which you are doing in the hope that it will give you great returns in the times to come therefore job opportunities for potential government employees are always many and they generally require a graduation degree and for this bit you don't need a graduation degree in English specifically but you can do it with a graduation degree in any subject but if you are planning to do it I would suggest that you stop your studies at graduation and then just focus on these exams that is if this is your one and only goal because many exams like the UPSC have an age limit and the later you start the less number of attempts or the less number of years you would have to actually prepare for it. I know many friends who are preparing for UPSC and WBCS and though some of them have done their post graduation which you can as well that will help you in the subject paper but if you start right after your graduation I personally feel that you have a higher chance of getting through because you will start preparing from an earlier age in a full-fledged manner. The penultimate option which you can take after your graduation is freelancing of course freelancing you can do in anything content writing graphic designing web developing coding or anything like that in that opportunity i am also including jobs which you can get from the campusing that is at the corporate sector you can join a corporate sector like by Jews or an academy or vedantu or any other thing like that which you would get as an opportunity after you finish your graduation in your campusing if your college or university conducts that type of a thing. Therefore, I am considering a corporate job as a part of freelance because they generally have the same type of workload, high work hours, extreme pressure and the like. But freelancing is a little more lenient, you can take more leaves and the job is generally at your discretion and you don't have to answer to anybody if you don't want to work, you just won't take up projects. But for a job, you don't have that opportunity. So you can either take up a corporate job or you can do freelancing. 
I want to do a detailed video on freelancing later. If you want that, let me know down in the comments. Finally, we are here where I talk about higher education. If you want to pursue your higher education in English and have watched this video up until this point, then thank you. This channel is for you mostly. You can do your in MA in English, communication, journalism, linguistics, or law or comparative literature. All of these options are available to the one who has completed their graduation in English. Whichever subject pleases you, continue your masters there. Then you can apply for a net in that subject. Then you can do your PhD and go for an assistant professorship job at the college. All of these topics have been discussed in this channel already or if they have not, they will be discussed in the future. So please don't forget to keep watching my channel for further updates and more important information. So that is it for today. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, queries, doubts or comments, please don't forget to leave them down below. And also don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Till then, hasta la vista.